for the lesson on variations, your performance task will be managing a big event. This is the situation. The ASEAN Summit is a semi-annual meeting held by its members in relation to economic and cultural development of Southeast Asian countries. The summit will be held at the ORG compound, Cotabato City, and 250 delegates are expected to converge for four days. As the head of the decoration team, master chef, program head, finance officer, just choose the role that you want. Be ready to present your proposal to the approving body of the Department of Budget and Management. Make sure to present it using any multimedia. The proposal must contain accurate computations, creatively presented, and practical. Analyzing the situation above will answer important questions like How will you determine the number of assistants that will clean the facilities and will prepare the hall for decoration? The number of asherettes that will guide the participants? How will you determine the budget for the honorarium of the assistants and asherettes? Ingredients that will be used in the preparation of all the dishes. And those questions, how can the unknown quantities be solved? Do you have an idea? Let us now explore variations. We have two learning targets. We have I can identify the independent variable and dependent variable in the given situations and determine whether the quantities are directly or indirectly related to each other. Let's start with this situation. Leo is working in a company which gives a wage of 50 pesos per hour. Let's make use of a table of values to, to look into the relationship of the two variables, number of hours worked as our input in algebra, we call this one as the independent variable. And the result or the output in algebra, we call this one as dependent variable. Okay. If Leo works for one hour only, Leo will be receiving 50 pesos. Simple arithmetic would do in this problem. So we have for two hours, 100. For three hours, 150. And for 4 hours, we have 200. And for 5 hours, we have 250. With 50 as our constant. Okay, constant multiplier. Now, notice that as the number of hours increases, okay, as the number of hours spent for working increases, the amount to be received also increases. Notice that the direction of the two quantities IV and DV is the same. Mean to say the relationship is direct. Let us now have another situation. During school days, you watch TV for six hours every night. When you receive your card, you notice that most of your grades are lower compared to your grades in the previous grading period. But when you decrease the number of hours watching TV for to one hour every night, you notice that most of your grades are higher compared to your grades in the previous grading period. Putting the numbers in a table of values, we have two variables involved, the number of hours watching TV as our input or the independent variable, and grades as our output as the dependent variable. So notice that in the first situation, when you watch TV for six hours, most of your grades went down. And when you decrease it to one, most of your grades went up. With this, we can say that as the number of hours spent for watching TV increases, the grades decreases and vice versa. Now notice that the direction of the two variables is opposite. So we say that the relationship of the two variables is indirect. The two situations above represent two of the four types of variation, which you will learn in this unit. Variation is the relationship between two or more quantities. The four types of variation are direct, inverse, joint, and combined. 
In learning this type of variations, you need to apply your knowledge in proportion. Also, you must be skilled in identifying the independent and dependent variable in every situation. An independent variable is the input that affects the output, which is the dependent variable. Practice your skill in identifying the independent and in independent variable when you answer the next activity. Open your book now on page 192 and answer activity number 3. What you're going to do here is identify the independent and dependent variable in each item. So how will you identify easily the independent variable? The independent variable is the input and the dependent variable is the output, expected output. And how will you know the relationship between the two variables? When the direction of the input and output is the same, then the, the, the relationship is direct. But when the, the direction of the two variable variables is opposite, then that makes it indirect. Okay, did you get it? So, kindly pause this video for a while so you can answer the activity and after answering the activity, play it again to check your answers. Do it now. Do it honestly. Let us now check your work. Okay, for number one for number 2, and for number 3. Now, why is it that in item number 3, the relationship is indirect? Let us analyze it. When you only have few workers, okay, few workers, the number it takes to finish a painting job would be plenty or many hours. Notice that the direction of the two variables is opposite to each other so therefore the relationship is indirect for number four five and six for numbers seven eight nine and ten i hope you were able to get the answers correctly if you have still confusions do not hesitate to send me feedbacks. See you in our next lesson.